Is it going? According to my parents, I was born. <laughs> in the hospital in Salt Lake City on April 17th, 1916. And let's see, we lived on Bryan Avenue, according to my birth certificate, in the Bryan Ward, which was in Granite State. I don't know where it was. All I know it was on Bryan Avenue. Oh, a long time later. And that's the, um, after that we moved to the west side. And we lived there. And I can remember from my father was sick in 1918 with the flu. Because he didn't work for a long time. Yeah. Or maybe in 1919, whenever the flu epidemic was. Yeah. And then Don was born, so I had somebody to fight with and to tease. And then we moved to Sugar House, while well, Dad went to chiropractic school. And we lived uh, on 21st South, 11 feet from 21st South, across the street from the school. And there was a trip that ran down the back called Harley Trip. I used to like to go down there, and there was a hill and an old barn. So we used to like to play cowboys and Indians. Uh, the neighborhood kids used to look, come over, and we'd play on the hill. It was back there. Right now, there is a parking lot there. And every once in a while, I'd go next door with a nickel and buy a whole bag of shingle nails. And they were pretty cheap then, because I used to be able to pound nails for two days on one nickel for it. <laughs> oh, I used to bring home some scrap lumber that pounded them. See, we lived next door to the lumber yard. And then I remember one night, uh, there was a big fire at the ice plant next door. And they said, well, the ammonia might explode, so... Mama got out her trunk, and I don't think it was ever empty. It was always full as long as I can remember anyway. She took the trunk, and we sat out on the sidewalk, but the ammonia didn't explode, so we stayed there. And then another time we walked out there and went out someplace first because Harley Canyon had a dam in it, and they expected the dam to go over in the stream. And they had a lot of water going down part of the And, uh, what else? I went to the forest grade school down on about 10th east from 21st South. And I think there's a, there's some of the buildings are still there. And, let's uh, see, when I was about six years old or five years old or something like that. They got electric train that goes around the circle. What else? Oh, we had skateboards in those days. Yeah, and I used to go down the street on my skateboard. We made them ourselves. We took a skate and a piece of two by four and we separated the two parts of the skate, the front and the back, and put the front wheels in the front and the back wheels in the back. So we had a skateboard. Well, these were skateboards. Yeah, uh, when my dad came back, I opened an office in downtown Salt Lake and we didn't have any money. <laughs> and so he decided he better go back to work. <laughs> so he went back to work and he worked on the railroad. See, he had, he was a born in my garden. He completed his apprenticeship by the time he was 17. He went, he started his apprenticeship when he was 14. Then as soon as they got married, he started to go to high school. And he finally graduated from high school then. And let's see, what else? Oh, there was, uh, ice wagons and back of our house was a lot of horses they were always in the barn and they pulled the ice wagons all over town and they'd load up the big box of oxen they'd deliver ice all over town every day 
No, he went to he went to high school. No, before he finished high school, he went to chiropractic, and then he graduated from high school after that. I don't know. I was little. I don't remember. I wasn't there. Did he work on the railroad that just crashed all this? Yeah, I worked on the DNRG in the Western Pacific and the Southern Pacific and the, and the out in Garfield. That's all I know. He used to ride to work every morning on the streetcar. And then I don't know what he'd take downtown. But he'd leave home at 6 o'clock and be there to work at 7. And let's see, what else did I do? Uh, then, uh, when I was, oh, we moved to Holiday. And we lived in Holiday about two or three months. And then we finally moved to Ely, Nevada when I was nine years old. And the reason we moved to Ely was the dad got a job in the railroad. And he was, was a butter maker and he could make $5 a day in Ely. And that was better than the $3 that he was making in Salt Lake. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, after being in Ely, he opened an office in East Ely for about six months. And then we moved to downtown Ely and we lived there. And then he finally found a place he wanted for an office. And so, uh, after living in Ely for two years, he opened a chiropractic office over on uh, Murray Street. And we lived in the back of the office. And let's uh, see, I went to grade school, and Ely grade school, and I graduated in 1930. And we didn't have many horses and wagons in Ely, but we had lots of them in Salt Lake. <laughs> One time when we were living in Salt Lake, and I was about eight or nine years old, uh, I drove the milk to the dairy, you know, in the buggy. And on the way back, they told me to put the horse away. But I took the bridle off before I had him inside the corral and the horse left. <laughs> he didn't get in the corral. And I chased him and I couldn't catch him. And so somebody else had to go chase him out of the cornfield. Oh, I was baptized when I was eight years old and we went to the tabernacle. You know where the tabernacle is downstairs and in the back of the tabernacle is a baptismal cell. And it was June, although my birthday was in April, it was in June and got a recommend from the bishop and went down there and got baptized. Okay, what else do I know? About the olden days. Talk about when you just said present. I don't remember. I wasn't that was years and years and years before I was born. We bought our first car in about 1930 when we lived in Ely because Dad's chiropractic business was getting bigger. And uh, he used to go to Ruth and McGill and give treatments to Ruth and McGill as well as Ely. And then, let's see, uh, 1934, I graduated from high school. But I spent one year in Salt Lake going to high school, at Granite High School, my sophomore year. And then I stayed with my aunt. She lived in Holiday, and she didn't, nobody was there with her, and so I lived with her. Uh, I stayed with Aunt Alice, and Alice's boy, Joe, had moved to Ely, and so she was all alone. So I went and lived with her for a year. And it, it was kind of a fun year, but we couldn't walk to high school. We had to ride to high school on the bus. I graduated finally in 1934 from Ely, Nevada, from White Pine County High School. And that was too many years ago to count. 